Hey guys, uh, welcome uh, for another episode. Oh, got a surprise today as there's no gym. Well, I started yet and got the maintenance announcement, announcement, and we are uh, expecting maybe it's going to be happening after this. Uh, it was a bit of a surprise um, that it all came on just like this. So we're guessing that they're going to have a special upgrade. Maybe something to do with um, the gym coming up. But who knows. So I was going to plan on doing my first gym play. Uh, but. Hey, let's go jump into one more uh, league, see if I can catch up on some of the ones I've lost. It's just after midnight um, over here. Um, whew. So, been a little bit, uh, a little bit tired, shall we say. Um, dragons. I've got gold lock, shadow jump. Alright. Double Mew. Um, I've been seeing Double Mews a little bit lately, so I'm pretty happy with Double Mews. Uh, they work. You can do quite good with this deck. So I'll just let him lead out with his Mew I see, I guess. Here we go. Um, I'm going to counter with Suicune. Just get Suikun out there on the board, and I'm guessing he's going to do it on the other side too. Mm, yep, and I am going to... I could double chance um, my Toad and send him out there, um, but I'm just going to send out my... Penguin, because I knew a hero jump was going to be coming and I wanted to be ready for it. So I think he's only got one. If I wanted, I could just hero jump back over. And I think I will. Um, just so I can save my gold block. Oh, man. Tired. Well. Wow. Yawning. <laughs> so, just gonna drop my toad out first, and now that I've got my toad out, I can might start working on that mew. I'm gonna start trying to buff him too. And uh, now that I've dropped them, so just gonna make sure I can try and get Minifi out before he attacks, and I should be able to. So got both my Minifis out. I'm in quite a good place since he didn't want to attack with Zemdos. And see what he's going to do here. Not attacking. That's fine with me. I'm going to surround. And then I can start working on that Mew. Um, all I need to hit is my yellow. It's, or if he goes for white. Um, and I'm just going to work away at that. I'm going to just give a bit of an attack just to see if I can knock him out before Z comes on. No. And I would be expecting to see a better overdrive come out now. Overdrive or Z, just so he can get on the board. There we go. So. Hoping I get my my 90 and I did get it but flyway goes down 
So he might be going for a fly away win. Oh, I'm gonna move over. He's gonna pull out his um, his Zeke now. So I've gotta be watching out for them vanishes. So hopefully get my 90, 90 or seventy. I'll be happy with my oh the dragons man. Um, miss on the overdrive plate. So he just burned his overdrive. I'm gonna try attack with Mew or on Mew, and if this pulls off and I get my yellow, or he gets his white, then he's in a very dangerous spot about now. So he's got gold block and overdrive, and he's gonna have to use a one gold block about now, or risk an attack. But here we go. So. Right about now, I am going to move up my toad, and I'm just going to start trying to block things off. I want to leave Suicune back just in case, just in case for whatever reason. Um, <sighs> just for case, whatever reason, and Empoleon gets. Uh, ice beam off and freezes somebody, but it's not likely to happen down there with Mew, so I'm gonna end up bringing him up. And now I'm just gonna start, before I block off entries, I'm going to just make sure I've got all my mons in position. And. There we go. Is he going to attack? No. So. I cover the entry off. And it's time. Time to finish off positioning. I get Manaphy on goal. I move my other Manaphy over. And then I'm going to start maybe attack Mew first. Then maybe go for Zapdos. So like that, I'm not sure about Zek right about now, just with Overdrive, uh, as my only my 90 will be beating him. Um, maybe try and set up a surround, if I can work something out. Woohoo, and that's going to be a surround about there. So now he's got to defend his goal, and I'll be able to jump back onto the entry. So, let's do that. Uh, I'm probably going to put Suicune on the entry. Seeing as, seeing as, and uh, Toad's already just sitting there, um, Mew can't do anything right about now. Um, not against Empoleon, the only best chance that it has is taking out uh, Manaphy down there. So, I'm going to try and take out Mew if I get my yellow Aqua Jet. And I'll be able to do it, but I'm just going to keep swinging until I can get it. And after that happens, uh, he's going to go after Manaphy, I'm guessing. I'm just going to keep trying with Empoleon. Hopefully I'll get my yellow on when we get to the white too. Sweet. Um, there we go. So now I'm just going to move out with my other Empoleon. Try and set up a surround. Ooh, not a good matchup for him if I get him. This is the only, only way that he'll be winning. So, I want to make a surround. Uh, so I start moving my set mana here up about here, and so I can attack Zek freely. Or I just go on the entry like this. Yeah. So he lured me in, but he didn't attack. So that's fairly interesting. Um, right about now. I move a mana fee here. 
or Menifee here, Napoleon here, and my other Menifee there. That's what I want to aim to do. And then I've got all my surround set up and I'll be free to attack when he moves Zeke once more. And I'll be double chancing since I've still got my double chance left. If he's smart, he'll try and attack before I'm all set up. Because as soon as I'm all set up, it's not going to look good for me. At least he's got a chance to run away with something at the moment. There we go. So he sees that I'm just starting to set up for surrounds. Ooh, the roost. But the good thing about Toad is his effect is applies after after the battle. Um, unlike um, other mons who poison on attack. Um, it's good news for it's it's good news for um birds the legendary birds but it's bad news against the dragons because if the dragons attack him he doesn't um, let the poison off before fusion uh fusion bolt goes so he can be removed um and yeah that's not so great he's great versus the birds but Alright, and so now I'm just going to start turtling my way over now. If he attacks and starts coming down the side, I will have a chance to block him off. But it doesn't look like he's going to, so here comes, here comes my chance. Give me the earthquake. Oh! The miss, the miss is real. Manaphy, thank you. Alright, so I'm not going to be able to set up both of those surrounds now. So I'm actually going to have to move up here with Empoleon and I have to try my luck with him once Manaphy goes down because that's going to be happening now because I took too long. With my 1MP Manaphy's moving them around, trying to set up surrounds, I should have just had an attack and that was my chance. Um, I should have just had, had an attack with um, Toad because I had the advantage uh, with Moltres being poisoned. But if I attack him here, he gets fly away here or here. Then you can attack, yeah. So I need to cover my goal. Before I try att attacking Zeke, or in this case he attacks me, I can't be in a position to get fly away. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So, I have got to have a try right about now. And it's a double chance on that Zeke just to try and get it out of the way. And I'm going to do it. Or else I want to be turtling back and forth. And no one likes that. It's not fun for... Ugh. Oh, I need that 90 about now. That's all that I can do, 90. Yeah, that's not going to do. So he's going to be frozen, but now he's going to be able to get another one out to unfreeze him straight away, or just block my Empoleon off. That would be the smart thing. And then... Yeah, that was a bad... He himself should have moved down here first to get his other one out. So I'm just going to move over there, block him off, stop him from getting Mew out. And now I'm in trouble. I am in trouble, which is not fun. 
so I'm actually going to have to move Menifee off off my goal and I'm going to risk pulling my other one off goal as well I've got a goal block so I can always drop one back but I'll have to start attacking that Moultries so I'm just manoeuvring my Manifees around uh, trying to get them up high if he was smart he would make a run down that side right about now he should just run down here with, with Resh and um, that's what I'll be doing uh, there you go so now I'm set up I can either attack Resh I don't really have anything to be scared about attacking Resh because he cannot knock me out with his fusion bolt so I'm just going to do that first there we go so tying is nice that's good for me and I'm just going to try and keep that going just to try and get Resh off the board I don't want I don't want to be having to deal with Resh around here um, there we go so with Resh gone now I've got to deal with Zap though, so that probably wasn't great either. <laughs> Alright, let's only go in with Suicune. I hope he doesn't get Roost or Flame Charge. Oh, so close. So now he's got to block off that goal, or better block off the entry with Manaphy. I just want to get some attacking attack power because I don't have any with Manaphy at the moment. Um, so, and at least Sheer Cold gives me a little bit more chance against um, Zek. Oh, bad idea. So, he really, 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 really should have just tried running down with me. He would give, give me a run for my money. But he didn't want to try. Um, if he attacks with Zek, he's going to go off goal. And now he's got a turtle back and forth with Mew. And I'm pretty happy with that. So I want to get up here to try and close both entries off with Manaphy. For 40 seconds left, man. There we go. So if he gets a flyaway, he's got game over. If I get my share cold, then there we go. That's it. So he put himself in a real bad position um, with Mew. Suicides because he committed suicide, really. <laughs> and 31, 37 seconds to go. Victory. I put myself in a bad position. I should have attacked with Toad way back rather than just trying to set up for surrounds. That was a bad um, decision on my behalf, but in the end I got there uh, so it all worked out I'm getting back there with my monthly I took about like this morning I lost about three matches had to get a bug bot um, wasn't great just yeah didn't get good good setups didn't get good rolls got a Verizian takedown I just ran straight down oh, not not pretty not pretty losses this morning um, and then I had one or two good matches this afternoon, and then I had another bad couple of losses. So that's why my rating has gone back down again. So I'm not really in a position to keep on pushing at the moment. Um, but um, currently sitting, I think I've just been dropped outside of the thousand. So when we're going back for that thousand, all I need to do is. As long as I can keep getting a couple of wins, get back up to my 2-3-5-3 and go for those thousand boosters, maybe push up to the hundred because once you uh, surpass the 2-3 mark, the 2-3-5, like, you can just start jumping positions so fast every victory. Um, there's only small numbers between like the next few pages on rankings. 
So, but it's just getting there. See, so all these are just one whole page is within two points of me. So, yeah. So all the ones just are, are, are under a thousand, are only a few points ahead of me. So, one more victory over my my top would would easily rocket me back up into the top thousand and one or two victories, three victories would secure a place in the top thousand so it can be as easy as that but it can be as hard as getting a few losses like this morning they just shoved me right back down and have to work my way back up there and that's why it's so close up at the top of the ladder but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video Anyway, how to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a dragon. Oh, one of my other losses this morning was to a dragon. I got my Empoleon removed, had Aqua Jet on the Fusion Bolt, and it had a chain level. And it wasn't as easy as this dragon, because he has um, Fusion Bolts weren't chain leveled. So if you got dragons, Fusion Bolt, chain level is a must. Um, so have a good night guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a little bit about how to defend your corner a little bit better, not just being so defensive but try to be a little bit more offensive as they would have thrown me off, I wouldn't have been able to win like that. But have a good night anyway and I'll see you tomorrow.